My understanding is that Gary Yamamoto, when he was, he was designing this bait, he was trying to do what a fluke does. The fluke, uh, the zoom fluke had blown things wide open when that came out. And, um, and it was really, you know, big splash. So Gary put his, you know, mind behind it and he was trying to develop something that, that would do the same type of action, a, a really a twitch bait. And boy, I, I, I'm, I mean, he stumbled on to something that was just phenomenal. You know, whether it was the additional salt he added to the bait so that it would stay down, uh, which gave that Senko that fast fall. Uh, I don't know exactly, he just stumbled onto it and it was just a, a phenomenal bait. So that's kind of where it comes from. Um, the, I have up here a lesson that I learned. Now, I talked a little bit about this last night. I, I looked at the Senko for the first time and I went, you gotta be kidding me. You know, what, what, this is ridiculous. I mean, what, it's, a, it's just a stick. It doesn't have a tail, it doesn't move, it doesn't do anything. Uh, it's, just a, it's just a simple bait. And I, I, just, I just shugged it off. I threw it in my boat. And it sat in my boat for five years. I had guys in my boat, they talk about, everybody's talking about the Senko. And I'm a, I throw a shaky head, a finesse worm. I throw, you know, of course, a fluke, all the different types of soft plastic. And I, didn't, I just didn't really, couldn't find a home for the Senko. I, I felt like I could catch fish better with other tools. And, um, and then one day, I decided to pick it up after all this poking and prodding, and just my eyes went whew, wide open, you know, and I found out what the, how great this tool was. And, um, and I just kicked myself for five years. I let it sit in the, sit in the belly of the boat. So now, when I look at a bait, I, I give it a fair shot. Uh, you know, whether a bait looks good in a package, I don't, I don't know if it's gonna work, but if it looks silly, I, I still don't know if it's gonna work. The only true test is you gotta get that bait out, you gotta get it into the real world, you gotta put it in front of some fish to determine whether or not it's gonna be effective. Because even after I screwed up with the Senko, I, somebody gave me a chatter bait, one of the outdoor writers I worked with, and I looked at this jig with this metal lip on the front of it, and I'm like, you gotta be kidding me, this is silly. And here we go, two baits that have just really, especially Florida baits, and uh, B. Height's gonna be talking a lot about the chatterbait lures. But, uh, but my advice is, you know, don't, you know, if you see a, you know, a bait like that, get, you know, look at it, give it an honest shot, you know, before you, you know, before you turn away. Because a lot of these baits, I mean, they, they're crazy looking or they don't seem like much, but man, they turn out to be fantastic. So I try to give everything a fair shot. I do a lot of field testing that way. But here's the magic of the Senko. It's a power finesse bait. Now, all my fish, and I think about that all the time, I'm, I'm switching back and forth between power finesse all day long. If the, if, the, if the skies go bluebird, it gets slick calm, I'm gonna go finesse. If we get wind and cloud and rain, I'm gonna power up, right? You gotta, con that's, that's the key to being a very successful angler, making adjustments all the time, day to day, but hour to hour a lot of times. Especially if you're a smallmouth guy like I am, it's minute to minute. Those, those fish will change instantly. So power finesse is key, and Senko has that. Uh, it has both the capacity to be a power bait drawing strikes from big fish, and it can be an ultimate finesse bait, you know, in those extreme conditions. So you can fish it in both situations and be very, very successful. And that's, that's really why I think a lot of people are, have experienced a lot of success over the years with it. But it's, it's hard to find a bait. Think of any baits that can do that. They can draw numbers, they can draw size, they can win tournaments. It's, there's not that many baits out there that can do all those things. Usually you have a tool that can do this or a tool that can do that. But this bait, boy, it can do it all. And the information Bass University provides isn't your basic run-of-the-mill fishing video. This is specific information from A to Z to help you learn, get to the water, and become a better angler quickly.